Hey guys, time for another metal furniture project. This time we're making a bench. Hope you'll enjoy and let's get started. I have gone through the materials in a couple of other videos but I still get questions about it so I'll just quickly go through the things I'll be using in this video. First you're going to need some metal that you can solder. I'm using copper. The wire I'm using in this video is 0.5 and 0.25 millimeters. You're going to need either a soldering iron or a torch. I personally prefer using a torch. This one is just the same kind you'd use in the kitchen, though I just got a new one in the mail that has a small flame and is more suitable for miniatures, so once I use that for something, I'll post a video about it. You're going to need solder, which is just a metal that will create the bond between the two pieces of copper. If you're going to make jewelry or something that will be handled a lot, I do recommend using this specific one as it's lead free. Pliers for bending and cutting your metal. I also use pliers to cut the solder into small pieces, which is just the way I prefer doing it. You're going to need soldering water. I think that's what it's called. It's chemicals, not actually water. The last couple of things you'll need are a fireproof surface. And then I'm also using this helping hand tool, which is just great for holding pieces while soldering. I first made a sketch of the design in the right scale. Each square on the paper is 5mm. Then just take your copper wire and begin bending and shaping it following the sketch. This first piece is going to be the seat. I then just placed it on the firing brick, brushed on some soldering water, added the solder and used the torch to melt it. This is going to be very repetitive so I won't be doing any voiceover for these clips. Then cut and bend all the pieces for the back and solder this together as well. Give it a slight curve to match the curve on the back of the seat and solder the two parts together. This is where the torch can cause problems because it heats up a larger area at once and so if the metal becomes too hot, the solder on the other joints will melt and it will all fall apart. But if you work quickly and you let it cool in between, it shouldn't be any problem. Make the armrests, solder them together and attach them. Lastly, cut and bend the eight pieces for the legs and solder these together two and two.
Once you're done, you want to sand the surface to prepare it for being painted. I first used a primer made for metal, then sprayed it with grey, followed by a thin coat or almost just a mist of black. If you want, you can keep it like this, but I decided to sand off some of the paint and add some patina. The patinas I'm using are from the brand Swelgand. Just dab these on and let them sit on the metal. And to finish off, I just made a simple pillow the same way I made the comforter in my miniature bed tutorial. Hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in my next video.